Um, Jared, obviously, like he's getting. I think he's starting to get the reps that he's he deserves. He's always been a quality prop, and you probably took it for, not took it for granted. But you always had a guy like Jesse Bromwich that you, that your pack would lean on yep. down in um, Melbourne, and we missed Jared those first couple games. How important is he, bro? Yeah, well, I think everyone knows what he he brings to our club, and he's the enforcer. Like he's, and you feel ten feet taller standing next to him on the field. Um, and I think that's a, a massive thing. I think we missed that real bad in the, in the Redcliffe game because as things started getting physical and we started getting dominated through the middle, um, we didn't really have that enforcer that would... And then Victor Radley come off, who was our little enforcer. But, mm. um, yeah, we needed that so, like someone like Jared to come in and really straighten us up and kind of put fear into the opponent's eyes when um, we were kind of feeling that. Bro, it's weird you say that because I remember when I used to play Jared and because we're, we're sort of a similar age and whenever, I wasn't the toughest kind in the world, but whenever I used to play half, like I would do a quick play the ball and I'd always look up and the first thing I used to look for was like, fuck, where's Jared? Yeah. Like, where, where's that kind of hiding? Not yeah. hiding, but like, <laughs> is, is he at B or is he at C? Because, bro, it will it will. I wasn't like scared of him, but I knew he was coming. Yeah. I, I knew. So that, that enforcer fact is really important, isn't it? Yeah, I think every um, pretty much good club's got one like if you look at Penrith you obviously like you'd be able to tell who their enforcer is yeah for sure exactly yeah. like you, you've got those teams that you just know who their enforcer is when Melbourne Storm were and you know that's Jesse Bromwich mm. um and they you, play you need a two as well I reckon yeah you, if you got that guy that can compliment you like you guys got Radley you guys got Lindsay Collins now yeah. he can step into that role yeah Penrith have Yo yeah like um, Bunnies have Cam Murray like all those people Moses Leota he just bangs he, he's a mad dog <laughs> <laughs> he's a good yeah <laughs> He's um, he's exactly what you need in a front rower. He's faster than you think. So oh, he 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 scurries around the field pretty good. <laughs> is he big? He's not. He's not overly big, is he? He's pretty big, bro. <laughs> oh, is he? Yeah, shirt off. He's pretty big. Um, I think that's like the perfect build. Now you look at guys like him, Fisher Harris, and even Jar like Jared's like kind of a traditional prop. But you look at those props now, Adam Fanua. You turn him side on, and they're like really thick, eh? Yeah. Like side on. Yeah. Fisher Harris is thick, but he's got he's not that heavy. He's like a hundred kilo. Oh, is he? Yeah, yeah. Like in in camp, he was only like a hundred and two. So like he's but he's mass like he's just all muscle, but he's got those um he's got those athletic legs. legs that's those a perfect legs, build, bro. bro. He's like a a, a I don't want to say a Fafita. <laughs> <laughs> Fafita's a bit more top heavy, my man. But yeah. um yeah, he's got those little skinny legs that can just go all day, but. Um, yeah, he's just he's just one of the enforcers, and and Jared's that for us, and um, I think Jared's come a long way, bro. Especially mentally, the way he prep prepped for that game, the way he's been in preseason. Um, yeah, when he talks, everyone listens. Mm. Um, he makes the jokes. He does. He's got it all. He's so he's got the nice little balance of yeah, like class yeah. clown slash you're the guy we look up to. Yeah, before the training paddock, class clown on the training paddock, like. Get out of my fucking way. Like. <laughs> Get the sternum guard on. See yeah. you later. I was watching him from up top because we were sort of up high. And like, like I was watching him really closely because as soon as you both of you guys jumped on at that 20 minute mark, like you just seen, started to see the line just go bend, yeah. bend. And then obviously open up the opportunity for you. But even off the ball, like, you can see him talking in huddles or when it started to get frantic, when Joey gets sent off, he was just going, like, like we're cool here. We're cool. So it's that balance yeah. of leadership, isn't it? Yeah, I think... Um, like the saying is like too many chefs in the kitchen and there's like so many great minds. You got like Victor who's like ridiculously footy smart. He's like, Cam, you know, Cam Munster, how they're a um, bit of a larrikin off the field. But when it comes to footy smarts, they're, they're the smartest in the room. And then you got Luke Carey, James Tedesco, Sam Walker. They got all these people. So when they're bouncing off ideas on the field and Jared, I guess, doesn't agree with them. He just pretty much comes over and goes, shut up, let's run the ball hard. Like, <laughs> and then everyone's just like, okay, yeah. let's listen to Jared. So he's, he's the Jack and Yuka. Yeah, exactly. He just trumps everything. <laughs>